them peace. Guide them both to a kinder world. I won't forget. I swear. Wow. Just wow. Once again, Dondodon has blown away my expectations. The beginning of the season, Dondodon definitely blew away my expectations, and it quickly became one of my favorite new anime this year. And, you know, since then, I think we've all been on this crazy journey, right? If you're not familiar with the source, if you are familiar with the source, I know it brought over a lot of people really, really excited for the adaptation. But if you're new, like me, not familiar with source, just anime only jumping in, I think that we've been on some kind of crazy ride. I think outside, we're at episode number seven, and I think outside of like one episode that was like, okay, the rest of the episodes have just been absolutely just like eight, nine, ten out of tens. Like they've just been absolute fire. And today, I definitely was not prepared for the just emotional journey that we got this episode. And I just really want to harp on that. Uh, one of the things I'm always touting in anime, especially really, really good anime, is, you know, when a show can come in and can take us on some kind of journey, some kind of emotional journey, and they can get really strong emotions out of you. And I'm, I'm always saying, you know, whether it's funny emotions like comedy, whether it's dramatic like drama, whether it is uh, anger, maybe anger at the situation or anger at the character, whether it's hate, like, you know, you can't stand a certain character or like a certain event that occurred, um, whether it's love, whether you're loving it or whether the show's, you know, pr you know, showing love, whether it's sadness or uh, something dire, you know, death, whatever it is, when a show can draw out like a really, really strong emotion, uh, it's doing something right. And although there are certain shows that drive that, you know, like, ah, I can't stand this character, you know, they're still doing something right because they they make me have a feeling. So Donna on this episode just like really struck a chord in me and I thought it was beautifully done and I was not expecting this ghost or you know this being to have this just insane backstory of you know leading a a life a single mother life that was very very difficult and she ended up borrowing money from the wrong people and because she borrowed money from the wrong people, they like repossessed her child and then they just messed up her life. And like they like kind of left her to like almost die. And uh, you could tell like she ended up like dying on the streets, essentially, you know, chasing after her baby, chasing after her child. And the way it was beautifully rendered and the way it was just like, beautifully depicted, obviously, is very tragic and very, very sad. And but the like, it was beautifully done. It was, it's like, in all intents and purposes, it is just like a hundred percent pure, pure art. The way that it depicted that whole entire scene, and I, you know, um, certain scenes when you know certain scenes, certain events, certain things that happen in a piece of media, um, you know, in a movie, in a show, whatever, you know, when certain uh, things hit closer to home uh you just feel more if that makes sense and you know for me on a very very you know personal level because i'm a parent um and just the feelings that she was having for her kid and you know an event like that it's like i can't even begin to imagine but just imagining like my heart just broke and i just thought it was such a, a really really sad uh, really emotional and like it was so emotional that like at the end like I had to take a second uh, and then you know um, you know Momo links the uh, you know Momo links the you know the spirit lady and and Ira together because Ira died and she's going to use her you know powers to link them you know to save Ira's life which she does and, um, you know, thanks to Turbo Granny, you know, kind of like, you know, telling them as well as the lady telling them. And uh, the lady starts disappearing and Momo's freaks out. She's like, you know, what's going to happen with her? And she's like, she's going to go to the void. 
Uh, but based on her emotions, she could, you know, ascend and go to the afterlife. And thankfully, Ira in that moment was able to recognize, you know, maybe the connection that Momo had with the lady and stuff. Um, maybe those memories kind of flowed back into her too. But she, you know, she was able to go say mom and this and that. And um, we found out during that, like the backstory that Ira actually lost her mom at a young age as well. And oh my God, like that was just like a big uh, emotional thing as well. And... I just love the way that Ira was able to, you know, say I love you and goodbye and just leave this lady on a really strong note. And yeah, just whew, just wow. Like it was just so well done. And you just got to really appreciate it, you know. And yeah, so this this episode was just absolutely like 10 out, like 12 out of 10. It was just incredible. Um, the emotions that it was able to hit and render. And I think the studio did just a fantastic job at, um, you know, depicting this lady's story. And it was just, it was really, really beautiful. So uh, I'm excited to see what comes next with Ira now kind of being in the mix. Uh, the next episode preview kind of showed her, uh, you know, making passes at Ken now. So who knows what's going to happen there. But yeah, just sticking on this episode, this was just a fantastic episode that I was just not emotionally prepared for because Don the Don hasn't gone into this realm and it was, so I was just it was very unexpected and I was just blown away in a lot of different ways so yeah Don and Don episode 7 10 out of 10 12 out of 10 whatever it was like a perfection of an episode and uh holy crap also I watched the dub and the dub was so effing good too so yeah those are my thoughts guys uh if I talk anymore like I'm gonna freaking cry so I'm gonna let it go I hope you guys enjoyed the episode let me know if you guys didn't dig it you know let me know if you really did let me know your thoughts emotions and, and opinions in the comments below uh and I'll see you guys next week for episode number eight Whew, don the don man all right my friends I'll see you then peace <laughs>